plane areas in Cartesian coordinates will be uh, solved more in this unit. Let us solve the area in the first quadrant between the parabolas y squared is equal to 4ax and y squared is equal to 8ax minus 4a squared. Resolving the first parabola into its standard form. The standard form tells us that hk is the vertex. For this parabola, the vertex is at the origin or at 0, 0. For the second parabola, y squared is equal to 8ax minus 4a squared. Resolving it into its standard form will be giving us a vertex equivalent to a over 2 and 0. For the points of intersection of the two parabolas, we will make the first parabola the first equation, the second parabola to be the second equation. If we equate and solve the two parabolas or the two equations simultaneously, we can solve for the value of x, and x is equal to a. And if x is equal to a, we could substitute the value in either the first parabola or to the second parabola. Let's say we will substitute this in the first parabola. Substituting, we could get a value equivalent to plus and minus 2a. Since we only consider the first quadrant, we will only take the positive root, which is positive 2a. So we could say that the point of intersection of the two parabolas will be a to a. In the first quadrant, let us consider the x and the y axis. The vertex of the parabola y squared equals 4ax is at the origin. And the vertex of the second parabola is at a over 2, 0. The point of intersection is at a to a. We can use the horizontal element whose width is equivalent to the differential of y or dy. xr is the x on the right side of the horizontal element. xl is the x on the left side of the horizontal element. To solve the area of the horizontal element is the differential area equivalent to the quantity xr minus xl times dy. Integrating both sides of the equation, we could get the area or a is equal to the integral of the quantity xr minus xl times dy. The lower limit is equal to 0 and the upper limit is equal to 2a. To solve for the value of xr, it will be based from the second parabola, which is y squared is equal to 8ax minus 4a squared. Solving for the value of x, we get x equivalent to y squared plus 4a squared all over 8a, and this is xr, the x that touches the right side of the horizontal element. For the xl, xl could be solved from the parabola y squared is equal to 4ax. So it follows that xl is equal to y squared all over 4a. Substituting the value of xr and xl, we get a is equal to the integral from 0 to 2a of the quantity y squared plus 4a squared over 8a minus y squared over 4a dy. a will be equivalent to 1 over a times the integral from 0 to 2a of the quantity 4a squared minus y squared dy. Integrating each of the term, we get 1 over 8a 
times the quantity 4a squared y minus y cubed over 3 with limits from 0 to 2a. Evaluating, we get 1 over a times the quantity 4a squared times 2a minus the quantity 2a cubed divided by 3. Simplifying further, we get 1 over a times the quantity 8a cubed minus 8a cubed over 3. We get a is equal to 1 over 8a times 16a cubed over 3. So the area is equivalent to 2a squared over 3 square units. We can solve the area using a vertical element. The first thing is we can draw a line x is equal to a over 2 that will divide the total area into two sub areas, namely a1 and a2. We could say that at is equal to a1 plus a2. At is the total area, a1 is the area from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to a over 2. a2 is the area from x is equal to a over 2 to x is equal to a. To solve for area 1, we can use a vertical element whose width is dx and whose length is y. The area of this element is the differential of area 1 equivalent to y dx. Integrating both sides, we get area 1 equivalent to the integral from 0 to a over 2 times y dx. y can be solved from the parabola y squared is equal to 4ax. So y is equal to the quantity 4ax raised to 1 half. Solving for y further, we can have 2a raised to 1 half x raised to 1 half. Substituting the value of y, we get a1 is equal to the integral from 0 to a over 2 of 2a raised to 1 half x raised to 1 half dx. Evaluating and simplifying this integral will give us a1. a1 is solved to be square root of 2 all over 3 a squared square units. To solve for area we still can use a vertical element whose width is equal to the x and whose length is equal to the difference of yh and yl. yh is the y touching the upper part of the vertical element. yl is the y touching the lower part of the vertical element. The area of this element is the differential of area 2 equivalent to the quantity yh minus yl times dx. Integrating both sides gives area 2 equal to the integral from a over 2 to a of the quantity yh minus yl times dx. To solve for the value of yh, yh could be solved from the parabola y squared is equal to 4ax. So we could say that yh is equal to y equivalent to 2a raised to 1 half x raised to 1 half. For yl, yl can be solved from the parabola y squared is equal to 8ax minus 4a squared. Solving for yl, it becomes the whole 
quantity of 8ax minus 4a squared raised to 1 half. Substituting the value of yh and yl into the integral solving area 2, we get a2 is equal to the integral from a over 2 to a of the quantity 2a raised to 1 half x raised to 1 half minus the quantity 8ax minus 4a squared raised to 1 half times dx. We can evaluate the integral by expanding it further. Area 2 is equal to 2a raised to 1 half times the integral from a over 2 to a of x raised to 1 half dx minus the integral from a over 2 to a of the quantity 8ax minus 4a squared raised to 1 half dx. Taking the integral, we get area 2 is equal to 2a raised to 1 half times x raised to 3 halves all over 3 halves minus 1 over 8 times the quantity 8ax minus 4a squared raised to 3 halves over 3 halves with limits from a over 2 to a. Simplifying, we get area 2 to be equivalent to 2 thirds a squared minus square root of 2 over 3 a squared square units. To solve for the total area, it will be equivalent to the sum of area 1 plus area 2. The total area becomes equivalent to the square root of 2 all over 3 a squared plus 2 over 3 a squared minus the square root of 2 over 3 a squared. The first and the third term cancels out, thereby giving a final answer the total area is equivalent to 2 over 3 a squared square units.